Hooks. All right, Devin, you did so good last week. Do it again. Yeah, you sort of bailed it on the end part of it, so. Me? Yeah. All right. Welcome back to episode whatever we're on. This is the Destinated Podcast. We got Lucas, Zach, uh, Ethan, and then I'm your host, Devin. Today we're going to be talking <laughs> about GME and Ethan losing all his money. Next up, health tip, and then we'll finish it off with a good tier list. Thanks for subscribing. See you again later. Dude, health none tip. of that stuff is even on the dock. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing a, a tier list. We're not talking stocks, and you're not the fucking host. <laughs> <laughs> no one's the host wow. welcome back to no yeah. destination podcast episode 24 all four present today how's everyone doing devin sounds like he's depressed i'm good i'm great nice <laughs> just a moment of silence <laughs> nice. off day today so nice zach it's good to have you back again we missed you last week did you listen to yeah. the podcast at all or no New. I have been <laughs> way too busy. No, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, it's a, it was a good one. It was a good one. So I recommend giving it a browse. We talked about skydiving and hot air balloons and shit like that. No, no one listened to it. Don't worry. Well, I've gone bungee jumping. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You did that in New Zealand. Have, that would yeah. have been good to have you on that. Tell us about your bungee jumping experience. Yeah, All right. Summer. So, quick summary of it. Yeah, Marissa and I went on a honeymoon to New Zealand. The bungee was over this river, and um, we were the first ones for the day. So pretty much how they explain New Zealand to, like, Asian culture is, like, that's pretty much, like, their Florida. So there's always a bunch of Asians there just for a little trip, yada, yada. So we had this group of, like, 20 people watching us since we were the first ones for the day. Are you the only, like, hairy American? No, I mean, (laughs) this guy, wherever he is, has hair and stuff, but, uh... Yeah, I was only here American there, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, we get we're starting to get strapped up and stuff, and Marissa's nervous, and yeah, I'm a little nervous too. But I like uh, adrenaline junkie stuff, whatever. And yeah, me and Marissa are strapped together, and all we're holding each other by. I mean, our feet are tied together, but the only thing other than that is holding us together is just our hands around our waists with our thumb through a loop. Through her butt. <laughs> a thumb up and, her butt, and that was the emergency ejector. One way to die. <laughs> but no, yeah, it was. I would definitely do it again. I wish I would have done it again mm-hmm. that day. Was there a time when? So there was no training because I know skydiving. You have to go through like a training. Was this like all right? Nope, you just jump off and trust this rope. It'll be all right. So the one thing is, you don't even technically jump. Well, especially with tandem, they uh, tell you not to jump. You just both lean forward. Yeah. Because if I, you yep. because if you try to jump. One person might jump before the other, and then you're going to twist or, you oh, know, that would fucking... jerk the other one, and then that could cause some issues. Like, so. do you, it would, like, chop off your leg. Oh, God. Like, I don't know. Like, just picture, like, the rope, like, tied under your leg, and just the impact of when you, like, stretch it out. Just, just... Well, the, well, the thing is, too, it's not really even, like... <clears throat> so, like, the bungee part is on your foot, but what's actually, like, looping between your feet is just towels. Yeah. It's not even like a hardcore like rope or anything. It's just they wrap a bunch of towels between your feet and it's like that seriously it, but no. So there was no like I mean they explained it obviously to you. Was there a moment where you're like right before you're gonna do it, you're like, Yeah, I don't wanna do this anymore. No, I was excited for it. Um we actually have a video of it. I think and, you showed uh, it to me. Yeah, you did. I, yeah. And uh and just as we're about like getting closer and closer to the edge, like you can just like hear Marissa and she goes, Oh God. Yeah. And like, you just like really see her breathing hard. And then finally we like, once you start falling, you know, you're falling and you're just screaming, having a, it's just, it, it's worth it. I think I remember you like looking to her and being like, you all right. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna be all right. Yep. I mean, I had a heart worst attack. case scenario, what like the, the cord snaps, but like it kind of slows you down. Probably not. It, it would slow you down a little. Well, yeah, it would slow you down a little bit. And then you just go into the water. But the water probably isn't very deep. Wait, how do they get no, you? No. How do they get you up? Do they oh, pull they cr- you up? Yeah, they no. crank you back up. Or no, they <laughs> drop you all the way down. So there's actually a raft down there, and then they have a big stick, and you got to grab onto it. And that's where I got into trouble. Um, I was in such adrenaline heaven yeah. that I'm just like looking up the guys. I'm like, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and Marissa's paying attention to the raft like they tell you to, 
And like they're screaming at me, grab the stick. And finally, Marissa, I think she actually had to like hit me and be like, Zach. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's like, let's do it again. <laughs> well, the, the minute they grabbed onto me, like they yanked me down just to get me on the raft, just to get me back to reality. Dude, how how much does that cost to bungee jump? I can't remember. We it was paid over there. What's that? Well, I just can't. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was the bungee jump. And then uh, we also got like you know the video and the pictures and stuff, whatever. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, they would crank that up, but I would buy it because it's like you don't go bungee jumping often. So. And I'm assuming other places do it too. Um, you pay the one full price, and then every other jump after that is like way discounted down. Yeah. And I wanted to do one solo, but I I knew we had other places to get going too. So. Dude. Did you see other people do it before you guys went? No, like I said, we were the first ones to do it. Oh, really? Day. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes it even better because it's like, yeah, I feel like if you'd see someone do it, like maybe you get a little scared because like you see it actually happen. Like if you just do it, it's like, all right, I'm not, I mean, whatever, fuck it. Well, because well, like I said, like Marissa, she was, she was nervous about it originally. And then like we're getting closer to it and she's kind of okay. But the minute that like, you hop over the one bar to be on the ledge to actually jump down. That's where I could really tell she was getting nervous. Yeah. Ethan, we know, we know you don't like heights. Would you bungee jump? No. Uh, well, I shouldn't say I think no. you would. I, I, w- I would, but it would be it would be the most nerve-wracking thing I ever do. And it was like my heart would... I, I love adrenaline too. Don't get me wrong. It's just that kind of adrenaline like would really fuck me up. Dude, I'm just picturing... You know, Ethan's like scream like yeah, like that, that high pitched well, scream, like that's him going down the freaking like valley, like. Wah! There's a video of me jumping off of a cliff in uh, was that Oklahoma? Oh no, yeah. yeah, that was wasn't that the Ozarks? No, no, no the Oklahoma, the one before it was a trip before that. Oh. It was Oklahoma, and we, there was like cliffs on like this big river slash lake, and I jumped off of it and I screamed. Didn't you like say like girl. oh fuck? It was, like, three, yeah, oh, shit. Three stories high. Oh oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah his his it goes like so high. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. I uh, I mean, uh, yeah. So Devin, would next, you, Devin, would you bungee jump? Yeah, I think I'd have to try it at least once. Would you bungee jump with me strapped to you? Probably not. Why, I dude? I feel like the, I mean the significant other would be. I mean, I'd do that hundred percent. But like with a buddy, dude, like that would be so fucking. It it would look a little homosexual, which I mean, nothing against it, but like that would be so funny. Like, wait, so are you guys like you're facing each other, right? No, you're side to side. Oh, okay, can you imagine like, like dick to each other, dick yeah. to dick with Devin? Like, like, <laughs> like I got you, buddy. Let's do this thing, and then. <laughs> Just screaming into your ear the whole way down. Yeah. It re- you really up the friendship, I feel like. Oh my! If you go bungee jumping with a buddy, uh, buddy jumping, dude. Mm. They should. Buddy jump yeah, come me in, dude. That would be, if I'm do doing a, a buddy jump, I'm gonna do a cliff jump again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would love to go with like any of you guys. That'd be so much fun. Especially uh, Ethan, because he'd be all like, <laughs> like oh, freaking oh, out," and I'd be no. like, "I got you, baby." <laughs> he reminds me of Noah in horror movies. Yeah, yeah. I can't look. That was. Cause that cliff jump, I was the first one. Or mm-hmm. it was me, then Justin, and then Tina. both of us. Right? Yeah, yep. and yeah, that that was nerve wracking being the first one to jump. It's like, cause there's no one else there. It was only us. So you're on this cliff. You're like, can I really like jump through and go down into that? And yeah. there was a bunch of like beer cans and shit so we knew everywhere. Up there. Yeah, yeah, we knew people had been there. <clears throat> See, so, dude, yeah, we, I, I would try. Oh, God. good times. Good um, times. I don't even know where we are in the dock. Well, we didn't get anywhere. That was like our monologue, our introduction. Devin, what you got? I don't know. I don't have the dock pulled up this time. Well, I had a question, and it could be a little debate. I apparently there was this tweet, and there this person has a college text chat, and apparently this this debate has been going on for like five years but basically it's who would win in a fight to the death a silverback gorilla or a grizzly bear and like my first instinct is the gorilla like there's no question about it for me um 
Uh, this is the same question that like Nick Merckx always ask with like uh, what like did, he used to who, ask who it a think? lot. I don't remember. I think he said the fucking gorilla. So or was it the bear? I don't so remember. So both. I mean, it would be a close fight. I think. Well, I want to hear what you guys have to say before I say why I think the gorilla. I'm thinking yet. I'm not sure. It can go either way. I bet, but I think the gorilla. I would say gorilla too. <laughs> I think gorilla <clears> granted <throat> because granted the bear. Bears can take claws, like, you know, claws. Some sharp claws. Yeah. yeah, I can't say sharp teeth because gorillas have those big ass teeth too. Does a what a does a bear hit harder than a gorilla? You think? I think I a think bear. A I think a bear can take a lot of beating because those things are like ton, like tons. Like I don't know how much like a grizzly bear weighs, but like, yeah, that thing could just take a beating. I don't. I mean, yeah, the claws they, though. They fight standing, so like the height difference wouldn't really be there. No, I think the height. I almost think the, gr the grizzly bear would be taller on his legs. Yeah. The, but, so I said the gorilla, and I'm like, the mobility, dude. Like, swinging around, like, he could pull off some meaty flanks. And, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I just instantly, man, now I'm Ooh. starting to think more. He, so, uh, fun fact here. The grizzly actually has a lar uh, longer reach normally. A longer reach more uh, than the gorilla. But I feel like the gorilla would be faster, no? I feel like the gorilla would be more like versatile. Like he could move side to side and shit quicker. But like grizzly bears, I think, can run super fast and still climb trees. I feel like they have yeah. to get momentum though. But, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I know it can climb trees, but not like a gorilla can. No, a gorilla can fucking probably jump from trees. Yeah, Swinging gorilla can get like the high ground and just do like a Donkey Kong smash, but then like maybe get sliced in the eye. Oh, dude, bears might, can climb too. I might switch my thing to bears actually. Yeah, because you're googling shit. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> well, just just like over. Well, I, the only thing I've read so far was what I told yeah. you guys. I can see uh, it going either way. I can see it but being close. Imagine an 800 pound, seven foot tall, 20 inch paws, and just really sharp claws and stuff. Just uh, and then a fucking gorilla that's 350 pounds. That's it. Yeah. They're only three hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, well, average. Okay, I'm, I'm. I don't know why I'm thinking like eight hundred pounds. <laughs> well, there's some big ones out there. Yeah. It's not, not no fucking King Kong, grizzly but bear, grizzly bears are probably like six hundred plus. I would guess. Depending on the bear you're picking for the fight. I mean, we uh, could just pick like a middle-aged grizzly bear and silverback, and I don't know. I Ethan, you're on Google, right? Just type yeah, yeah, yeah. in who would win in a fight and then put the animals in. Because I'm actually curious, like, if there's just an answer, like, like on Kiora. Like scientific thing. Like, yeah, we put a grizzly bear and a gorilla together. This is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's a YouTube channel. It's like Jake Paul's, like, <laughs> experiment or something. Because, uh... no, I can see it going either way. But I still think the gorilla's just got, like, the speed in the air. Wha-bam! I don't know. Second. That's a video... I still feel like a grizzly bear can like turn and shit really fast. Yeah. And then I always also forgot the claws. Like I'm sure the claws are pretty, pretty sharp. I don't know, but dude. A gorilla could grab like a stick and just go to town swinging that thing. I just feel like the smarts are there too with the grizzly or the excuse me the gorilla. silverback. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Hey, I mean a grizzly bear couldn't kill leonardo dicaprio in the revenant so i'm pretty sure it couldn't kill <laughs> him for that to come up freaking have you guys seen the revenant yes god that scene no that you should watch it it's right in the beginning ethan he just gets mauled by a grizzly bear and obviously it's not a true story or anything but the scene mm -hmm. just oh i saw that in theaters with my dad and like the grizzly bear is just it's just like pawing at his back and he's just like oh, oh. oh it's so brutal man it's so good. It's on YouTube. Check it out. Link in the description. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Everyone's pretty torn on it on the internet. Is there like a thread, like a Reddit thread of it? Uh, yeah. Let me go to that. Did you find it on Twitter? Me? Yeah. No, I I found. Oh, I was, was reading it, the tweets. People are like, were split basically. A lot of people said grizzly. To be honest, they're like grizzly, no question. And I was like, huh, no question. Like, there's the debate for sure.
<laughs> People are saying, yeah, you could just Donkey Kong clap that bear's head. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like this Smash Bro move where he goes like this. Like he put, he just literally claps. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I just wanted to see what you guys' opinions was. And, uh... Well, put it this way. So a grizzly could break a moose's spine in a single swipe. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, really? They've got some force. Yeah. Just from swinging it? Yeah. A moose? And grizzlies are faster than gorillas. It, uh, like in a straight, straight line. Yeah, straight I, was line. Saying, I feel like they're faster. They're just not like side. Grizzlies yeah, can get up to four miles per hour. Gorillas twenty ish. They can outrun yeah. a human easily. Dude, can you imagine going to like a drag race and having like <laughs> gorilla versus grizzly? <laughs> Dude, I, I'm still on the gorilla Dude, side. Koala bear versus a sloth. They're koala. Both, koala yeah, I would say koala because I think koalas have claws. Like. Pretty, like, even yeah, though the sloths have claws, sloths yeah, have the sloth one for the kill. It's gonna go like. Eh. But koalas are dumb as fuck. I'm pretty sure koalas are really slow. Maybe not like slow moving, but yeah, they're pretty because they're always like stoned. I swear to God. Yeah. Because of what they eat, isn't it? Yeah, the, the yeah. eucalyptus trees. Yeah. Yep. I would say. Eucalyptus. I would still the say life. the the koala, but that'd be a good fight too. Have you ever be seen the longest a wet fight koala? ever? <laughs> Yeah, oh, those things are ugly as fuck. A wet They're koala? Creepy. Yeah, they're yeah. so yeah. stupid, too. Imagine, like, the burnt teddy bear. <laughs> I'm looking up a wet koala. Oh, my gosh! Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm pulling this over so people can see it. I mean, for the that's just freaking horrendous right there. Yeah, dude, I'm looking nasty. at the same picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get in a fight with that. No, fuck that thing. <laughs> well, what happens when you type in wet sloth? Oh, those are pretty creepy too. Sloth? One second, now I need a look. Wet the first sloth. first picture. He's got the long ass claws. Oh god, they're not as bad. They dude. still sort of look cute. Sloths, dude. Or sloths. <clears throat> Ethan, try. I don't. I, I don't know nothing about these animals, but I still say koala bear. You you yeah. want a you want a fun fact or okay? So <laughs> when I typed in wet sloth. And like Porn. you know, uh, has like people also ask, do sloths die when they poop? What? <laughs> what? Don't they? There's a good point behind this. Um, a sloth can lose one third of its body weight from pooping. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> and then you watch, and then I guess like their like stomachs physically shrink as they poop. That's insane. So yeah. they, they just like starve themselves when they poop, like. Also, like that's weird. I guess. Could you imagine just like taking a shit and you're like, "This could be my last." <laughs> How does that work? Do they just, they just die. I also heard something about sloths <laughs> where they like when they're when they're hanging out of the trees and they sleep, they'll forget they're hanging out of the trees fall. and they'll yeah, just and fall die. off. Yeah, and they'll fall off and die. I can imagine that. Yeah, which is kind of stupid. Are they endangered? They gotta be. That's Australia, uh, right? No, that's South America. Where's sloths even? I don't know. Uh, I'll look one second. I think South America. Um, uh, yes. They, they are the critically endangered, actually. That's because they keep on falling out of the damn that's trees. It's stupid, probably. Yeah. <laughs> they, it's uh, well, it's uh, just uh, what do you call that? Nat natural selection, dude. They're just they can't. They uh, don't got the brains. Well, there's also like the one video clip that shows like why someone believes pandas are putting themselves extinct, and it's a panda at like the tip of a tree, just holding <laughs> on and eating. It's just like <laughs> totally bent. Oh. Well, like, you know, the tree stands straight up, but it's a panda at the top of a tree. Why you gotta go all the way up top, dude? Why you gotta go all I the way up top? I think pandas are pretty stupid too. <clears> yeah, <throat> did you, did you see the the panda that like sneezes? Oh, and yeah. scares the other one, or like the panda that like sneezes and shoots out babies. <laughs> no, that's the one I was gonna bring up. I remember <laughs> sending it to someone. It was like a panda, and it, like you literally see like just a baby like pop out. That's like, so it, gross. It just like poops it out, and it's just it's really gross. But <laughs> I got that somewhere on my phone. Sadly, also from Central or South America. Well, and South America. So there you go. Interesting. If they're in Australia, I could just imagine. Rainforest, the rainforest animals. Punting that bad boy. 
Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. Well, now that we got our little animal uh, zoology battle royale conversation almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had, there's an, this question I wanted to ask for a while. If you could pick any smell for your fart, what would it be? Mm. Now, now, this is the only smell you get, you know what I mean? So it's... But you can have, like, different levels of it. You know, I mean, like, your your farts now, you might not have one that stinks as bad. But there's some that are, like, really strong smells. If you could pick one smell for your fart, what would it be? And I, I had, have to actually... And I had, I had time to think of this, too, and I don't know. I didn't think about it. Well, I might actually have to watch an episode of Mad TV now. Why? If I remember right, I think this skit is this guy's secret skill is he can make his farts smell like whatever he wants. What does he pick? I don't know. It's Mad TV, so it's probably stupid stuff. Yeah, something silly. <laughs> okay, so realistically, though, I feel like whatever you pick, it's going to turn into like, oh, God. like it's just, You're going to hate it forever. Yeah. So like, I thought like flowers was my first instinct, like something nice and pretty. You probably don't want nature. Yeah. Because you're going to smell it all the time then. See, I think it's something that like, would blend in no matter where you are. So I was just thinking like the fresh air scent, like the car fresheners you get. Yeah. Some, sometimes gonna... those are, and that's not a bad one. Like a new car smell, where, farting out the new car does, smell, dude. Like where it just doesn't really smell like anything. Just I might like... go with popcorn. No, dude. That'd be I can already, fucking weird. I can already get my farts to smell like popcorn. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, almost, I think. I think some of my farts actually smell. At least my feet, dude. When I have like dirty socks, I swear to God, they smell like nasty popcorn. In no, like, so like yeah. If I eat a bag of popcorn, like once I start farting shortly after, it will smell like popcorn. You know, there's like a like distinct. There's a distinct <clears throat> smell of fresh popcorn and like stale popcorn. You know what I mean? Like. St- I don't know. You can just tell when it's fresh, but like, there's like those nasty, like stale popcorn smell. I don't know, Ethan, because I don't think you're gonna want to be able to eat it then. Yeah, bacon. Ah, oh, dude, no. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a food. Just I bacon. think Kevin yeah, just put one up there. Yeah. Yeah. Grass right after like fresh smell of grass. Ooh, yeah, fresh cut grass. But then if it's in the middle of winter and you like shit yourself in public and be like, who the fuck? Is <laughs> dude, yeah. <laughs> who the uh, Lucas? <laughs> I think the um, new car smell is really good. I'm trying to... Good idea. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, well, just out of a uh, random thing, after I Googled it, um, uh, what is the best smelling country? Country. Not, not America. <laughs> Supposedly... Madagascar. Zach? Switzerland? <laughs> not far, actually, not far off. Belgium. Oh, because they got oh, all the, yeah, they got all the pastries, the pastries yep. and beer and I thought, shit. I thought you were gonna say waffles, yeah. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> waffles, <idiot>. yeah. <laughs> Belgian waffles. Wait, they don't have waffles. <laughs> they banned them. So farting out pastry smells would be kind of nice, but then again, I just feel like you're never gonna want to eat it because you're what about like, just like a vanilla, generic vanilla, a hot vanilla fart, dude. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Dude, Why'd you know, put hot in front of it? Because you know when you get a you know when you get a hot fart and you're like, oh man, like there's no way this isn't gonna be like not smelly. You ever guys you guys ever go to the bathroom like to fart? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I remember <laughs> when I first started dating Kristen, like my dad's on the couch, I like walk her out, I'm like, alright, see you later. Close the door. Instantly just <laughs> It's like the biggest rep. He's like, You've been holding that in all night, haven't you? And I was like, Yeah. He's like, Why don't you go to the bathroom? And I was like, That's a good idea. And then like I always started to do that. So go wipe yourself real quick. I didn't Ooh. shit myself, I just farted. <laughs> about like burning wood like a fire. Yeah. That'd be good. Okay. Just... But then again, I don't know. Apple pie. Cinnamon. No. Lavender. Time. What happens there? I'm gonna just Google like coffee, mint, minty mint, fresh butt. Mint, mint would be good. Mint, mint wouldn't be bad. I would do coffee mint. Would be awful. Wood. Okay. What we all can try to do to see if it's even worth to have different smelling farts is we can all buy those like charcoal filters that oh, are yeah. scented. I've seen those. We can buy those to see if they actually work. 
That'd what, be entertaining. Dude. So I Googled the top the 30 best smells in the world. Dude, number three, the boy smell. What is that? What? They have what? a definition? Boy? Right out right out the shower preferred. What the fuck? Is number three? <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's fucking number weird. one is I'm cookies fresh out of the oven. Lab. Cookies fresh out of the oven for number one. Number two is melting chocolate. And then like three is boy smell. It's like parentheses <laughs> or quotes. It's like... Just, just think of somebody who has no sense of smell like listening to this right now. Like just depressed. But like, yeah, bacon, vanilla. New car smells number eight. Yeah. Ooh, coconut. About... Oh, like maybe like the ocean? Yeah. No. No, because that, okay, that's kind of like... That could be fishy. Like the saltiness in the yeah. smell. <clears throat> what about barbecue? Oranges. Just blame it on the chick next. Barbecue, barbecue. Bar a really strong, hot barbecue fart. Dude, like a, I feel like, could like burn a your eyes. freshly, freshly cooked barbecue, <laughs> like uh, ribs or <laughs> like a brisket. So it's funny. N number nineteen of the thirty best smells in the world does not go well with a smell that you'd want your fart to be. It is onions baking in the oven with roast beef. No. <laughs> That's literally Zach's farts every uh, night. How is that the number nineteen best know, smell? Dude. Roast beef <laughs> makes no sense. Onions literally do. make you cry. Like I don't even. Books? What do you want? <laughs> All right, I'm Old done books. looking at these smells. Yeah, I'm not just gonna. Books look do them. kind of smell good, to be honest. Grandma's house. <laughs> I think no, it I, smells like old people. I think I'm oh, gonna hop oh, on oh. Devin's side and just go with the new car smell because I feel what like. What about gasoline? Oh my god! You know, <laughs> just straight up gasoline coming your out of your butt. Literally burn. Some You'd people. Be high. I like the smell of gasoline. There's some people that hate I it though. Like after riding, like for me, it was like always because we ride snowmobiles, yeah. riding like snowmobiles and stuff. You get that gasoline smell on you. Oh. Yeah. I like the smell of diesel exhaust. Oh, I do too. See, yeah, I just don't have that. No. You don't have Good that thing. crave, or you just want to put your face right in and just right, right in an exhaust <laughs> and die. Lock yeah. yourself in the garage and just the let the truck run forever. Just, just throw a potato in your pipe and just like, yeah, just oh god, <laughs> just sit in okay, the car. Okay, when you said throw a potato in your pipe, I took that a whole different direction. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> because, because it didn't click in me. You're still talking about exhaust pipes. <laughs> throw a potato in the pipe and go a day. <laughs> What a sex term. <laughs> well, well, that also probably goes because I don't know why I've been listening to uh, Thack too much by Eminem. Dude, that's uh, we've been listening has. to that They're too a lot. But but the re but the reason why I'm thinking of that is because at one point in the song he goes, "Stick a gerbil up my ass." <laughs> Dude, so that song is a potato up the pipe. That song is so funny, but like, why is it like just getting popular now? Well, yeah, all of Eminem is getting all mainstream. booed at by Gen Z or. Yeah, Gen Z, because they want to cancel Eminem. It was a cancel thing. Oh, yeah, yeah the so millennials versus Gen Z. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's so stupid, oh, man. Thing. You, you're on TikTok. You haven't heard of that? I've, I've like, no. watched commentary videos of people, like, yeah, it's... Yeah, his... I feel like millennials his... are just kind of butthurt because they're, like, they don't... I mean, you got to eventually give up the cool. Or you, you, People... There's a certain age group where they can, like, determine what's cool. You know what I mean? Well, it's not just the thing that's cool. It's that uh, Gen Z wants to cancel him because he's too full of hate and blah blah crap. And the type you, of music you listen to, you listen to half of the shit canceled. in these days. It's still the same on this certain artist. Oh yeah, yeah it's probably worse. I don't yeah, know actually. the whole cancel culture thing, dude. Freaking hate it. Like they're canceling cartoons. Lola Bunny is now like not sexy. And I actually remember like yeah, her being really sexy and nice and. Flat chested. Flat chested, not no shading in her thighs. I don't know, like the world's pretty sensitive right now and they're canceling like cartoons like the skunk, like Pepe the skunk or whatever his name was. Like they're just they're just taking down all these cartoons. I'm like so confused. I don't know. Who cares? It is what it is. Well, it's stupid. So. Yeah. But yeah, shove a potato in your pipe. Should we go to the next topic? Yeah, I got one. Alright. So, how about if you could give me two to three, or even if you just want one, people that you would want to, like, have, like, on the podcast that'd be, like, fun to talk to, just, like, yeah, someone that you'd be like, hey, let's pick your, pick their brain, or or just anything, or if it's just, like, you're a fan of them, and yeah. you just want to see how big of an asshole they are. No, I think I'd want, um, I think I would really want, um... Ryan Reynolds. Yep. Yeah, that's Because be he is like 
not only is he is a beautiful man creature, but the guy is hilarious, like in real life too. Like mm-hmm. his just personality is super it, like Is the Deadpool character. Yeah, is young and fun and like I feel like he would be really fun to like have on the podcast. I feel like this could have been a I put that on there. I was like, this could be a really cool draft, but I'd rather We could always do it another time too as a draft. I mean same with the yeah. you could do the same same thing with the farts, you can have a draft, but yeah. I just was curious. But yeah, I say like Ryan Reynolds. Um, do you guys have any other ideas? I think Post Malone would be fun. Oh, yeah, because he would just drink Bud Light and chill and... Just bro out with Posty? Yeah. I think yeah, Malkova. I think... Who? I knew, Malkova. That, uh, knew you would bring a porn star into that. Oh, you said porn star? <laughs> yeah, you wanted a porn star. Wait, which so one long. did he say? Mia Malkova. Mia Malkova. Oh, Malkova. Okay, yeah. Uh, Not Khalifa. That's what I thought at first. Oh, and then, Zach, would you say, do you have any preference? Well, Ryan Reynolds was going to be yeah, my go-to pick right away. That's a high up there one for me, too. <laughs> that would have been round one, first yeah. number one draft pick. Yeah, I, would, I really don't know. I think, like, Paul Rudd would be cool, too. The Ant-Man yeah, character. Well, on yeah. more of the comedy side, I think yeah. it, it is always going to be. Yeah, like, just fun. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Like uh, what's his name? Chris Pratt. Yeah, he would be kind of fun too. I thought like I don't know. He does why. have some pretty good stories. I, I don't know why. Yeah. I like thought Morgan Freeman because like if you have him on the podcast, you get that molasses voice for in a whole hour. But at the same time, like I think I'd get bored from his conversations. Who? Morgan Freeman. No. Oh, yeah. Same with like Nick Cage. <laughs> Nick Cage. Nick Cage back I'm at it. I, I don't even know what, how I'd start a conversation with him. Be like so. I don't know either. Yeah. Just be like with Nick government. Cage or Morgan Freeman. <laughs> with Nick Cage, he's weird. Oh, I know. I'd be like, okay, I wouldn't want to bring up anything about acting or anything because he's done like, like book a noosh, and then something else would like happen. I don't know. <laughs> like he, the dude's fucking wild. You well, never know what's gonna happen. I think I'd first ask him. I'd be like, Grizzly Bear or Silverback Gorilla? <laughs> pick your pick. Pick your winner, and then he'd be like. In 1988, like, well, gorilla would grab the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> yeah. That would give him the power. <laughs> Four, 1400 BC, the grizzly bear was brought into the America. <laughs> are, you, are, are, are you just using Planet of the Apes plot? Or... Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. He just starts rambling. I don't know. Jack Black would be fun. Yeah, yeah, Jack Black would be a riot. Adam Sandler would be cool, but... Yeah. I... I think, I think, I think he's okay. Adam, yeah, so. I feel like he'd be yeah. kind of... You could pick any, like, funny person, but... You gotta yeah, know they're, like, in real life personality. Well, dude, Pat, yeah. <clears throat> Pat McAfee, dude. I would oh, love to have him. Well, yes. That guy's awesome. He's hilarious. hilarious. Or, like, Tim the Tatman. Like, he's funny, too. Yeah, some of the, like, streamers and more of that yeah. on those, like, those side. Yeah. I don't Video know. Game side. You could make anything entertaining. I feel we're professionals, so... It'd be kind of cool. What are you looking at, Devin? I'm just thinking about me and Melkova being on the show. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, De- Devin would be so excited. He'd get on like an hour before the podcast and he'd be just... He'd even come. Yeah. No, he... Yeah. <laughs> he, he oh, wouldn't God. even... <laughs> oh, nice. he, he wouldn't show up. He would be too nervous that he would just so wouldn't show up. I'm so nervous, I'd just watch it at a later time. <laughs> God damn. Oh. Idiots. <laughs> I like it though. I'd I'd have all those people. Um, should we go into our draft? Sure. Is it about? Oh yeah, sounds. Like... We can. Uh, it doesn't have to be a. It doesn't have to be a long draft. But for our next draft, man, it's been a while since we've done a draft. Our first mm-hmm. one was battle royale characters, like movie characters. We're just, uh, we're gonna talk about sauces. So, to. <sighs> so a chicken nugget. Are we just taking like a chicken nugget and like? Yep. Not just, any, like, fancy, like, recipe sauces. We're talking about just, like, store-bought type stuff, right? Uh, I think you... Mm, I think you could pick, like, a, like restaurant sp- special sauces as well. Okay. That's fine. So, so like, general, general... You can't be like, oh, I'm going to take McDonald's ranch. Oh, I'm going to take Burger King's ranch or, and yeah. stuff like that. Just, like, ranch general or, like, a, like someone's, like... Uh, um, someone has like some special sauce, like Big Mac sauce you could pick for any known reason. Right. That's a special sauce. Um, and we're just doing regular chicken nuggies. Yeah. So like, um, 
Let's like, just all of us have the same chicken nugget. So let's. I mean, yep. It could be like a McDonald's chicken nugget, so nothing too special. And like, basically, make take this shitty chicken nugget and what's the best sauce you want? We're to drafting sauce sauces, to and we did yep. decide that we're gonna do three sauces a person because. I mean, we don't want to get too like in depth. We're like, like, uh, basil, chipotle, ketchup with a hint of mustard. You know, what I mean, something yep. like some shit like that. So like, we're just gonna do three sauces each. I got a randomizer here. I'll show to the camera. Yeah. Uh, there's our names. You can't really see. I'm gonna press. Oh, I see my name in there, bro. Better put it in again. It's in there. It goes Luke, <laughs> Zach, Devin, Ethan. Why well, you first? And then I'm gonna. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to press break. randomize. Ready? I am going to have one issue, though, with this uh, draft. Why? What's your issue? Because I really don't use sauces. Uh, yeah, we know. We know. We knew so, you were going to be special with this one. So, so I'm just going to be the one to steal mm -hmm. it from you guys. Correct. Yeah. You're going you're to be a pain in the ass this whole time. Maybe I'll put yeah. this on like Instagram, too, and being like, and not saying like whose team is whose, but I'll just be like, who's got the best this, sauce I, team? Like, this is a one. good draft. I just feel like there can't be a winner because everybody's got like taste preferences. Yeah. Correct. Well, I mean, but like, I mean, you can pick. It'll I mean, be yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to randomize. All right. I think it went. All right. Damn, shit. I'm first, dude. No. It goes no, Zach, Zach first. Ethan. Zach. Dad, dad. All right. It's the only <laughs> sauce I use ranch. There oh, shit. Fuck yeah. You. So, so ranch was the clear number one. I feel like whoever oh, I was gonna pick I ranch. Like ranch. Yeah, ranch is clear number one. Clear number one. No, clear number one in the Midwest. That's not the clear number one. Ranch is not good. Well, who was next? What's the order? Um, Ethan, Devin, and Luke. Man, I was last last time. Well, Did suck, suck. Yeah, stop putting yourself first then. Yeah. Huh? Selfish. Want to redo it? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it with a restaurant, like a special restaurant sauce, with Chick Fil A's. Chick Fil A Ooh. sauce, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I we'll, think we can put that down, is. right? Like, or we should we just like not do those and just do like normal sauces? Well, normal. you gotta think. Each of us is just gonna normal? have. I mean, how many sauces? Let's start, we'll, we'll start with normal if we run out. So I'm gonna do honey mustard then. Oh wow! See, I'm not that, that big normal? of a fan. That's a good one. No, that's good. I love, I love honey mustard. All right, well, I'm going to take the typical barbecue. <laughs> sweet Baby Ray's, to be specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that that was, that was like, one of my top threes. Yeah, well, it was between honey mustard and barbecue, and I like I yeah. just like the honey mustard a little bit more. Honey mustard and barbecue. It just depends on what mood I'm in. Ranch, obviously, is number one. Is ranch yeah, number gross. one for everyone? Yeah. No. For, was was the barbecue zero. yours? It's number fucking disgusting. You don't like yeah, ranch? Really? No, ranch is gross. Do I don't blue use cheese? ranch on anything. No. Well, what do you put on? Well, I suppose there's French and other stuff. Yeah, I put French on salad or Western, which is some like fucking yep. weird ass thing. Yep. I had that tonight. I, I, I don't use ranch on anything. All right. So I got two picks here. Um, back to back. I do like, I got to ask you guys about one and it can count or it can't count, but I'm going to take Chipotle here at four. I got yep. a nice, because I like my spice. Um, I like my farts to smell like Chipotle. Uh, I feel like it's just Not a great pick. Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then here at at five, I got the I got the the work around here. Um, what do you guys think about cheese sauce? Is that a sauce or not really? Yeah. No. What? No. Uh, I could no. see that being. How is that not a sauce? <laughs> like nacho cheese. It's just melted cheese. Well, it's not. It's not. Yeah, that's why I had to ask you guys just to make sure. Because I mean, it, so, it, like, it could be. It could be categorized as queso. That's so. what you dip in your. You could dip your fries in that. Why can't you dip your nuggies? But is that more the of a dipping dip? sauce? Is that more of but, a dip? Well, yeah, because like you use your sauce. Is I mean, sauce I mean, you dip. dip your chips in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But also marinara sauce. Is that a sauce? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. You Sauce. Sauce. <laughs> I guess it is. Marinara sauce. Yeah, it's sauce. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm trying to think. My my mindset here is I get these three sauces for the rest of my life. I think cheese sauce is a sauce. I say yes. Uh, I would uh, say yes. I'm not, nah, I'm not going to do it. Well, I just gave you guys a cheese sauce if you guys want. I don't think that's not... good with nuggies. So I, no. uh... Yeah, I, I thought that too. <laughs> no. So I got Chipotle here. If I only could have three sauces... And ranch is taken. Barbecue, fuck. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Sauces. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with the... I know what you're picking, I think. Yeah, Zach. I'm gonna go with it, dude. It's gonna be ketchup. I'm gonna go with ketchup. <laughs> because it's like, uh, I feel like it's... It's an easy one. It's like the the clear... Yeah, it's an easy one to say no to. It's the clear, like, uh, stereotypical number one condiment when you go to, like, any restaurant, I feel like. Ketchup is on the table. So, I'm going with ketchup. I have to play it, though. <laughs> and now we got Those Devin back on the clock. Uh, I'm going to go with lemon pepper, if that's a sauce. Or is that a no, seasoning? What's like the base that's of that? Seasoning. That's, that's a, a seasoning. seasoning. But like you go to out. Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm pretty sure you can get that wet. We just talked about the. Well, was it just Ethan and I talking about yeah. this? Yeah, it's, that's not a sauce. We because you could go, to, that's oh, a, that, dude. Buffalo that, that's, Buffalo Wild Wings sauces could be its own draft because there's 30 sauces. If you want to get really exotic about it, specifically Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm just saying, if somebody out there makes a lemon pepper sauce. Well, I just kind of said like not really recipe ish. It's not a known thing. Lemon pepper is not a sauce. Like look at the sauces we all have right now. We got ranch, honey mustard, barbecue, chipotle, and ketchup. All right, I'm going with great value chicken dipping sauce from Walmart. What the fuck what is that? <laughs> what? What? What's chicken dipping sauce? It's literally just chicken dipping sauce from Walmart. Well, what is it, though? Value. You can explain the flavor? Uh, it's like a... Oh, here it is. Uh, chicken dipping sauce, Walmart. It's kind of like Chick-fil-A, maybe? Okay. Oh, it, like yeah. It. No, it's kind of like a Chipotle. Here it well, is. I pulled it up for the people that are watching the podcast. It's orange. It's It looks like a little spicy. It tastes There's like literally Chick-fil-A Chick sauce, sauce right next mustard. to the... The Walmart sauce, like they're comparing it. So, okay, okay, I'll let it slide. It's just funny because oh, yeah. it's got the Walmart in there. Ideas. <laughs> that's um, why. That's why we did only three sauces. Because yeah, it's gonna get. I know mine. So I'm between two. I'm just gonna do regular buffalo. Yeah, yeah. I, w I was determined on doing that or Chipotle. That's a good pick. I didn't really like buffalo either. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but I love we're really spice. running low. No, I got mine in the bag. See, I, this is going to be like a quicker draft. I just wanted to see like... What, I have what Zach thing? might like yeah, that's on my brain, Google but I'm not going to tell him it. Or Google sauces. That's fine. Why am I up? Yeah, yep, you are up. on the clock. Aoily. <laughs> Mayo? Aoily. <laughs> I don't know how to tell it. What is that? Is that like a soup? Aoily. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's like a must. It's a mayo based. Uh, oh thing. yeah, it's like a thicker. Do you put that in nuggets? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can put that in nuggets and like fries and stuff. A lot of it, like garlic okay. aioli and stuff like that. I think I've only so had that like once. It was really once. big in. Uh, I mean, that's all they had at New Zealand, pretty much with everything. Yep. Oh, you just turn it into a New Zealander aioli and but areola aioli and then bungee jumping. <laughs> and fish and chips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fish and chips. Okay, that's a good pick. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ba Baba Ganoush. Um. Yeah. Solid pick. You're up again, Zach. Oh, I'm up again. This is your last yes. pick. This is your last pick. So think if you only can have three sauces in the rest of your life. To go with chicken nuggets, though. Or yeah. is that uh... no? Yeah, chicken nuggets. Yeah, sorry. Chicken nuggies. That's just my mindset, I guess. Miracle Whip. No, it's. No, for dipping. It's so daily, but you, you could do Miracle Whip if you fucking want. <laughs> you could. It was just I don't, I, I, I don't. That's dude, the thing. I really don't dude, like. I mean, chicken nuggets and mayonnaise is really good. So, I mean, yeah. well, I mean, it's a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich and mayo is usually a popular yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't really do sauces. Yeah, I. I know. No, that's Upset. okay. That's all right. Hold on. Wait. 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 <laughs> I, I have my eaten. pick, and I don't think you guys are going to pick it, so. I'm f You're trying to pick something that I'm going to pick, Zach? No, I'm just thinking of sauces I may have ever eaten, and I was like, hey, this wasn't bad. Well, But I really don't do that a lot. Hey, Ethan for, Ethan, for your pick two, honey mustard, is that like the default? That's not the default mustard, is it? No, it's honey mustard. Uh, it's honey mustard. What's Is, is there just like a mustard? Yeah, mustard. Yes, it's called mustard. <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't Jesus really... God. I only have honey mustard and, like, spicy mustard. That's all I ever have, so... Well, 
You could pick a different mustard, like Dijon. I don't know why you? Yeah, like I was thinking Dijon mustard, but I, I would not want to dip my first pick in. mustard. My second pick <laughs> honey mustard. <laughs> yeah, no, just Joe, categorize. Joe. Like I'm taking all these mustards out with me. God damn it! What you got, Zach? You got 15 seconds. Who's counting? All I got is Miracle Whip. Uh, Big ketchup. Okay, we're sticking with it. I, I, all right. I, after we're done, yeah, we can name all the other sauces that I might not ever want. Yeah. Or yeah, that I just Michael can't Whip. Them, or even Google search. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan's typing in the pics in the doc, and he goes, Michael Whip. <laughs> Michael Whip. <laughs> Instead of Miracle Whip. <laughs> I saw him type it. I started laughing. And then yeah, he saw Chipotle as, like, Chipotle low. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so since it's my last pick, I can go through what I'm sort of thinking here. Unless you want to, I mean, I can you can give me ideas though, and I can totally fuck you. Or... So, I between sweet and sour mm. sauce. Oh, sweet and Damn. sour. You could always do sriracha. That's too hot. <laughs> um, let's see here, what other ones did I have? Hmm. What about? Can I do a ketchup mustard? No, I don't like, want that though. Like a combo? like a mix. Do they make yeah. that? You would make it, but then that's two of your flavors. No, you so. can't do that. You have to draft both of them if you want to make it. You shit. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. Yeah, fifteen so, seconds. So limited. I might just do. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour is a good God, pick. I probably would have taken it. Well, no. Uh, yeah, no, that's nope. a really good pick. That's a really good pick. It. Well, Devin. I really can't think of any fucking ideas, so I'm just going to go with horseradish. Oh, good God. That's spicy. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything else. So I went with the worst thing uh, besides ketchup. I had a feeling this would come to me, but I'm a big sauce guy, so I... Um, for my last pick, it's got a generic name. A1. If, if you guys haven't heard of it, <laughs> Google it. It's great. A1. A1. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm going with uh, Secret Stadium Sauce. Oh, A1 almost. It's pretty much A1, but like okay. I put it up on the screen if people don't know what it is. It's like oh, it's it's like yeah, a barbecue, it but it's not I've had it for the steaks. It's supposed to be for steaks. It's yeah. Damn, I kinda want some A1 now. And a steak. <laughs> I, I never hate A1. Yeah, I never I don't use think any I, sort I, of I don't put sauce, sauce I like on A1. my steak. I don't I, I sauce. never use it, but I just I kinda like I put secret it. stadium sauce secret stadium sauce on like my brats though. We should we should do a draft of actual sauces from um fast food restaurants or restaurants yeah so hard, well then i mean we i don't know all of them yeah like, i don't think i've never ever no, i've had the chick-fil-a sauce but like like king kfc finger looking good sauce Burger king ranch also oh, like their spread. their specialty like, yeah Barbecue wendy's sriracha shit. taco bell sauces yeah uh just every like Mc, i would just Big say Mac all taco sauce, bell sauces chick-fil-a papa john's papa john's <laughs> <laughs> marinara <laughs> <laughs> marinara. Oh, John's marinara. I also think we should do like a a fast food pizza draft. Dude, That'd be kind of fun. You guys ever dip cheese curds in marinara sauce? Oh yeah. Usually yeah, they. Yeah, that's with good. That. Yeah. So how would you do usually a fast they... food pizza? Well, you got Little Caesars, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Yeah. I mean, considered fast foods. But we'd all only be able to pick like one, maybe yeah. two, yeah. because you already got rid of like the main one. Well, I know that's the kind of the thing with these sauces. I feel because you you picked yeah. fucking. I'm going with you, Subway you pizza. Michael Whip for your last pick. That's Subway. how that's how Subway. low you were. Michael Whip. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Whip. Sorry. No, I like I, it. I'm going with that now. All right, guys. I'm gonna read off the names. Oh, do you guys want to read your own team? Do you guys remember what you picked? No, this is awful. Yeah, Let's just one. end this now. <laughs> okay. I have horseradish on my list. No, for pick blue chicken. cheese. Okay, so I'll... I forgot who was number one, even. Zach. Zach. So Zach yeah. picked ranch. Yep. He picked aioli. And he picked Miracle Whip. 
Ethan. That's literally the worst list. <laughs> That's a pretty weird, <laughs> it's like, a pretty weird combo. Mine, but Zach is actually disgusting. Miracle Whip. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, Ethan, you want to read your team? Uh, honey mustard, buffalo sauce, and sweet and sour. I feel like that's a solid one. Yeah. Devin, if you don't remember, you want me to read yours? I have what? Barbecue, yeah. horseradish, and something else. Oh, chicken yeah. Chicken dipping sauce. Chicken, 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 oh, chicken yeah. dipping sauce. Great value, Brian. And then I picked, notch. I picked Chipotle, ketchup, and secret stadium sauce. So. A1. Yeah, A1. But I didn't pick A1. Honestly, I picked Ethan's Secret Stadium at, Sauce. If Ethan's list at Chipotle. Thing. Yeah, but it's called it, Secret Stadium Sauce, so that's what I'm calling it. A tier. Yeah, if I had Chipotle instead of the uh, sweet and sour or buffalo. No, instead of buffalo. I think I would have won that. I think I still want it. Uh, it depends on taste buds. I'm not a big mustard guy, and I like spice, but you also have spice, Ethan, so. I have it all. You, you, huh? I have it all. Yeah, I guess you do. the last time you guys had must mustard pretzels? Been a long time, Dude. but those are pretty good. Yeah. Like the Snyder they ones? Make... Okay, yeah. this is literally a conspiracy because they had oh, honey mustard pretzels. You can't find them anywhere. They're just gone. <laughs> like, I almost question if they've ever even existed. Oh, they've existed. They're delicious. Yeah, and you can't find them. The only ones you can get is cheddar. And wow. I've searched Amazon. I've looked them up. You cannot buy them anywhere. Have you gone to, like, a... Festival? Yeah. I've gone to Walmart, festival. I've gone to fucking places in different states. They're just nowhere. Interesting. I'll find them, and I'll bring them to yeah, you. Yeah, so and we somebody can... can find me fucking Gold Royal or whatever, honey mustard pretzels. Well, I'm thinking of, like, oh. the Snyder ones, like the, the the pretzel clusters. They're not pretzels. Mm, not enough. Oh, so you're thinking of, like, the... Gold or whatever. Oh, okay. I know what those I'll are. I'll look for them. Maybe they discontinued them. Yeah, uh, I, I'm pretty sure they conspiracy. did. Conspiracy! But... You got to make everything a conspiracy. The government took them away. Even the sh like the Schneider ones or whatever. You Aliens took them all. If I could find some of those, I'd probably be happy. I saw them literally at the shop in the grocery store the other day. Yeah, they're probably easy to find. I'll look for them next time I go shopping. Okay, yeah, Zach P. What about it? It's in the dock. I didn't put it there. You told us to. <laughs> I did. I think yes. you might have. <laughs> when? You said put it in the dock. Two day, or two days ago. No, I no, it was in the dock, and I asked why oh. was it there. I oh, think you literally somebody... just sent the word P, and then somebody said something, and he was like, "Put it in the dock." Yeah, because <laughs> because there's was two the things dock? with P. Um, wait, where am I at? Yeah, because well, someone there was another P thing there before, but no, because I did Zach P question mark, and then you and then Lucas even saw that someone put it there. Yeah. I didn't put the Zach P in I there, and there. I put the Spurgis thing after I saw Zach P. I didn't put it there. Conspiracy, dude. Somebody had to go with Doc. It was probably, yeah, yeah someone's, the government's in there, and they're like, Zach's urine smells like shit. You eat, like, three pieces of asparagus, dude, you'll stink yourself out the bathroom. Dude, yeah. yeah. Like asparagus must. Asparagus. I'll, I'll eat it now. I love, I love asparagus. asparagus. Grilled asparagus? Grilled asparagus. I have some Grilled leftover asparagus. 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 Then pee in the next day, dude. Worst I, thing ever. Best. Best thing ever. Worse, it smells ho like the worst. It's just awful. Don't you like sometimes when you fart, you like you're like that, like it smells bad, but you're I'm like that smells smell good. It's like I'm you're retasting it. it. Like, yeah, like you have you've, you've never asparagus piss smells no, so no. good. Like no, it well, awful. like I, I honestly thought you were gonna because since we were in the topic of pee, I thought you were gonna be like you guys just ever fart with pee. I mean, a couple of dribbles fart come pee out at the same time. You get just a little tinkle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just shoots it out like that's what i know is a good part so dude that's uh, disgusting god i forgot what i was gonna talk about something about pee i don't know forgot it. <sighs> okay well um is there anything else we want to we're, we're cutting short here we probably got four minutes left you guys got anything else you want to say i'll follow our tiktok yeah no I destination podcast tiktok yeah, if you want to see some highlights. Yeah, I sent the host of that a TikTok to watch. I don't know if uh, they watched it. Actually, I don't think I did. I saw oh, that, right. though. And then we got a... Zach, you want to... So you we 
you might not be in future podcasts every time, but you might you'll be here for some of them. What's your deal? It, it's More special start, guests. Yeah, it's gonna start getting very rare. So just getting extremely busy lately, especially once I start my new job location. I probably do not see myself being on for the whole duration of the job. Cause it's over like 45 minutes an hour away from here. Well, yeah. from our where our shop is. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be leaving there till four, five o'clock. Travel you to You don't have to give like town. too many details, but like. Right. So, yeah. pretty, pretty much long story short, yeah, work is I'm... getting bad. Which yep. is okay. Well, okay, I shouldn't say bad. It's great to have hours again. Which is okay. Um, Do I get for, your paycheck? For people that. For, for Zach. Mains Zach favorites. Uh, we're sorry this had to happen, but like I said, it's it's not it's not a complete leave. Like he could still come back. Like I said, I'm still a special guest, and I mean I can try the audio only. It's just quality is going to be so bad. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll work with it. Maybe this will give us an opportunity to have other guests on too, and Zach can't come. So yeah, maybe we'll invite some other people. Like, yeah, we should really just get more friends. Like porn stars. Well, it's not the friends thing because we have friends, but like it's friends that are invested in the podcast. Like we yeah. don't want. I mean, I feel like if we get no on here, he's gonna sit on his phone. He's gonna go. Meh. I'm hungry. Just he's just not a talker. Here. He's I just need not some a chicken. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, let's yeah. go. Have, <laughs> let's, let's go have some sauces. He's being like Noah. Oh yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> That's what do you? No, we're, we're, we'll work it out, but. Everyone wish Zach a happy sailing on his new job location. Hey, birthday. Of sailing, we're going to miss you. Bone, if, we're we're going to miss you. What did you say? Well, you said happy birthday, so I was like, happy birthday. <laughs> hey, Zach, what are you doing March 27th? Uh, I was supposed to drink with you, but oh, we're yeah. getting near the end of our competition. Oh and I, boy! And I, and I feel like so, Ethan is do you wanna, way ahead of me on do that. Do you, so really so you want to drive us around so I don't have to? Do you want to drive us around so none of us we got to drink and drive? I'm just joking. <laughs> I might. Yeah, you guys got Uber in lacrosse? Well, yeah. Yeah, but you don't want Uber. You don't want an Uber though. You want me? That should be free. Well, okay, yeah, because I'll be a DDD. Well, mm-hmm. let's end it. Let's end this podcast. We talk about it. <laughs> uh, break down. Episode like twenty four of the No Dash Nation podcast. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, wish Zach good luck. Um, good, good sauce talk. Good gorilla win. Uh, that's about it. I got rollerblades yesterday. I just want to point that out. I'm excited to ride them. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see it. Maybe we'll see it on our TikTok. <laughs> yeah, me. And uh, rollerblades. And Goodbye. Rollerblades. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> t- <laughs> this is episode 25, by the way. 24. That's no, 24.